Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President of the Republic of China, President Ma, to say a few words for us. Uh, Vice President Xiao, Premier Wu, Vice President of the Laser TV Yuan, Zhen Yongquan, Fu Yanzhang. Uh, friends from the press, ladies and gentlemen, it is really a great pleasure for me to meet with you today. Uh, the presidential and legislative elections will take place the day after tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to briefly describe my accomplishment in the last four years and my vision for the future. Uh, I have actually accomplished a lot in the last four years, but I will only describe basically five things. First of all, we have revitalized the economy by a speedy recovery from the financial tsunami and economic downturn. Uh, as you know, uh, we have uh, badly hit by the financial tsunami in 2008 and 2009 with uh, a very low economic growth and even in the negative. But in 2010, we, the economic growth shot up to 10.72%, uh, second highest in Asia and the fourth highest in the world. At the same time, we have been able to maintain a relatively low inflation rate of less than 1.5%. Uh, during the time, we created more than 375,000 jobs and cut the unemployment rate from the height of 6.13% to 4.28%. And we have also narrowed the gap between the rich and the poor. Uh, as you know, the highest uh, rate was in 2001, when DDPP was in power, and we were being able to cut that uh, smaller. Secondly, we have rebuilt a clean and competent government. Being a clean government has been a very important part of my policy. So ever since I uh, was inaugurated, I launched a crackdown on government corruption and set up a new anti-corruption agency, Lian Zhen Shu. I have also tightened the anti-corruption law to make sure that the government ethics will be uh, uh, very seriously maintained. Number three, uh, we have greatly expanded our social welfare program to become a relatively uh, uh, strong policy. For instance, uh, we have um, uh, set up the labor pension program so that retired labor could have monthly pay instead of uh, uh, one-shot play, which, according to many uh, retired laborers, they now can live with dignity because they don't have to ask for money from their kids or even uh, grandchildren. We also set up the National Pension Program to help those who have not joined the labor, the government employee, and other pension programs. We have raised the poverty line to a point where we were able to help uh, 600,000 more people. And we twice raised the minimum wage, where we call it basic wage in Taiwan. And number four, which probably is the one that you people are very much concerned about, that is cross-strait relations. Ever since I was uh, inaugurated in 2008, I have announced that I will maintain the status quo in the Taiwan Strait by launching the three no policy. No unification, no independence, and no use of force under the framework of the Republic of China Constitution. So that is uh, my Taiwan consensus because this policy is supported by more than 85% of the people according to opinion polls in the last 20 years. And the second consensus is a cross-strait consensus, which uh, we reached with the Chinese mainland in 1992. That is one China, respective interpretations. 
One China, according to our interpretation, means Republic of China. So this is a mechanism to uh, shelve differences and uh, move forward to other more urgent problems that confront the two sides. So based on this Taiwan consensus and cross-strait consensus, we have been able to resume the interrupted uh, talks between Taiwan and the mainland through the two instrumentalities. One is the Strait Exchange Foundation, and the other one is uh, Association for Relations Across the Taiwan Strait, representing the Chinese mainland. In the last uh, three more years, we have already concluded 16 agreements with the Chinese mainland, covering the establishment of the three links, air navigation and postal links, and the uh, joint mutual assistance to combat crime, the uh, financial institutions supervision, food safety, uh, and most importantly, the uh, economic cooperation framework agreement, and the protection of IPR, the intellectual property rights. So we have actually achieved quite a lot uh, in the Taiwan Strait, not only bringing bring in peace, uh, which is in the interest of the region, but also in the entire world as a whole. And as a result of a much uh, reduced tension across Taiwan Strait, Taiwan has been able to expand its international relations, which is the fifth point I want to raise. For instance, we have been able to attend the World Health Assembly, which is the main function of the World Health Organization of the United Nations. Uh, in the past, we could only uh, attend the technical conference uh, by sending low-level officials. We have no title and we have no official status. But ever since 2009, we've been able to send our Minister of Health and with the title Chinese Taipei, which is acceptable to our people, instead of the name we used during the DPP administration, Taiwan, common China, which is not accepted by the Taiwanese people. And we also have official observer status with an invitation from the World Health Organization. Most importantly, we could communicate directly with Geneva instead of G -G Geneva plus Beijing. In the past, our application to go to the technical meetings of WHO has to be improved by Beijing as well. So this is a remarkable change from the past. In addition, we've been able to join the government procurement agreement, as you know, which is an offshoot of World Trade Organization. We've been trying for six years, but in vain, but uh, three years ago, we have become a member. That means we are able to bid in other government contracts in 41 countries of WTO membership. And in addition, we were able to send high-level retired officials to APEC, Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. In the last four years, our represent representative was a, a former Vice President Lian Zhang. The, the kind of arrangement never happened in the past. And only after I came to office that we were able to do that. In addition, we have also strengthened our bilateral relations, first of all, with our 23 diplomatic allies. The relations remain very stable. On the other hand, before we came to office, the DPP administration lost six diplomatic allies, but we have been able to maintain good relations with the existing 23 allies. Most importantly, we have restored high-level trust with United States, Japan, European Union, and other Asia-Pacific countries. As you know, we have been able to get permission from the United States to acquire three batches of defensive arms, altogether totaling 100, I'm sorry, 18.3 billion US dollars. The figure has been the highest in 10 years. 
And uh, we have also been notified that Taiwan is now on the VWP program, the Visa, Visa, Visa Waiver Program of the United States, which we expect to get that status uh, later on this year. So far, 126 countries and territories have given Taiwan visa-free status. Before I came to office, we had only 54. Actually, the figure 54 stayed for eight years without change during the DPP administration. But ever since uh, I came to office, the number jumped from 54 to 126. In addition to that, we have also greatly improved our relations with Japan. Uh, as you know, we have um, um, concluded an investment agreement with Japan, which is a milestone in the relations between the two countries in 40 years. As you know, Japan has invested in Taiwan for, all, for over 60 years. Never did Japan thought about signing an investment agreement with Taiwan. This is the first time. In addition to that, uh, we also start uh, charter flights between Tokyo's Haneda Airport and Taipei's uh, Songsan Airport. These two airports are downtown airports, which were not open for international air traffic. But again, we've been able to do that. We also set up a new office in Sapporo, uh, Hokkaido. This is also uh, a very important uh, milestone in the relations between our two countries. Uh, uh, in addition to bilateral relations, we have also uh, have uh, improved relations with the European Union. For 13 times, the European Parliament passed resolution not only supporting their relations with Taiwan and call for the uh, conclusion of an economic cooperation agreement with Taiwan. So, in a word, the improvement in cross-street relations has its a peace dividend in a sense that we were able to expand our international relations in a way that created a uh, virtuous cycle between cross-strait relations and our international relations. This has never happened before. In the past, our relations with the mainland has become a liability for Taiwan's international relations. But now, the situation has been greatly changed. So, to sum up, before I ran for presidency four years ago, my idea is to serve for eight years. And in the four, first four years, the strategy is to reorient Taiwan back to the right track. And the idea for the second four years is to uh, move forward to greatly transform Taiwan in pursuit of excellence. I think I have largely accomplished what I have described to reorient Taiwan back to the right track. And for the second term, what I'm trying to do is to make sure that Taiwan will be a leading economy in this part of the world. According to the forecast of International Monetary Fund, of uh, Global Insights and of Asia Development Bank. Next, this coming year, 2012, Taiwan's economic growth rate will be number one among the four Asian uh, dragons. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there are only two days before we will, the, the people of Taiwan will cast a vote. That vote not only determine which candidate will eventually win the election, but most importantly, that would also determine the future of Taiwan. We now see the coming uh, problem of the European debt. Only an experienced leader, which have led Taiwan going through the financial tsunami and economic downturn, could uh, properly handle the situation. And the most important thing is, cross-strait relations is so important to Taiwan that we need someone with a very comprehensive set of mechanisms which could properly deal with the niceties of relations between the two sides. And we have been able to achieve peace across Taiwan Street. Obviously, 
we will continue to that to do that to make sure the peace will be a long lasting one and that require a leader like myself thank you very much now for the uh, q and a session Thank you.